I am Dr. Carol, this is Dr. Meg, and our beautiful assistant, Megan. Today we're going to go over the stretches or the postures that we had promised you when your back goes out. We are going to break this down into three regions, essentially, because it's a different experience when your low back is giving you problems, or your mid-back, or your neck and shoulders. So we're going to do three stretches for each region of the spine. And one thing I want to make sure that you do and make sure that you're aware of before we get started is to know that any of these stretches that we recommend, you run them by your practitioner, your chiropractor, your MD, your massage therapist, whoever you work with, and make sure you get their okay before you do them. The second thing that's very important about them is that when your body is in a place where there's a lot of pain, a lot of tension, and lack of motion, stretching is something you have to be very careful about. So you don't want to go really deep. You don't want to stretch to a place where pain is created. That's a key point. So if you're doing any of these stretches and it hurts, stop doing it. That's your body saying, stop. So you need to listen. As you often hear us say, listen to your body. Make sure that the stretch feels like it is elongating, but not causing pain. So that's a really critical piece. We're gonna start with three stretches for your neck and your shoulders when that area is giving you problems. So Megan's gonna stand up and she's gonna show you the first one, which is bringing your ear to your shoulder and then you're going to grab your opposite wrist and very gently pull down. And so when you start this stretch, you want your shoulders to be relaxed as much as they can be, and you want to make sure that you do at least three to four good deep breaths in this position. And typically, one side is gonna be more irritated than the other, but do both sides. Just spend more time on the side where you're feeling more. Beautiful job. So that's our first stretch. And the second one is going to be using a pillar like this, or you can use a door frame too. And you're going to face it straight on. You're going to put your hand at shoulder height, and then you're just leaning back into the stretch. And you should feel a pull through here. If you rotate your hips slightly like Megan is, you'll feel a little deeper pull in through here. And again, three to four good, deep, slow breaths in and out. Yep, and do both sides, exactly. And the last one is a stretch for the front of your chest when your neck and shoulders are really irritated. This tends to compensate. So again, using a pillar or a door frame, you're going to face it this time. Put your hand at shoulder height again and turn your body, she's turning her whole body away from the door frame, the pillar. And same thing, nice deep breaths, three or four in and out. The next region is the mid, when this part of the spine, which almost always incorporates the rib cage. When people experience this part of their spine going out, it's it involves, it can't help but involve the rib cage. So um, breath is also really critical here. You wanna make sure that you use your breath, but n again, not to a point of pain. If a deep breath is painful, then do a shallower, smaller breath. And so the first one is using a countertop like we have here, and you're just wrapping your fingers around the countertop and leaning back into it and relaxing your head as she's doing. You should feel this stretch through this area. And you can use one hand at a time, just do one hand at a time to focus more on one side and then the other side. And so with this one, make sure as Megan is doing that you're bending your knees so that you protect your lower back. And again, three to four good deep breaths here. And the second one for that mid-back area is child pose. It's a yoga pose, and Megan's gonna demonstrate that. So you wanna open up your knees wide, and you're gonna be sinking down forward and extending your arms forward as she is doing, relaxing your head down as much as you can onto the surface, and 
just feeling, you should really feel this all the way through, but it, it is a really nice stretch for that mid-back region. And what you can do here after you've done three or four good deep breaths here is shift. And so you want to just walk your hands over to one side, right? Perfect. And I like that idea of putting one hand on top of the other. It gets a little more pull in that rib cage. And three or four good deep breaths there. And then the other side as well. If there's any difficulty getting down into this posture, you can put a pillow underneath your abdomen, just a gentle bed pillow or a couch pillow, and that'll give you a little bit more support to get into this posture if you're feeling like you're not able to get down as far each time. But as, doc as Dr. Meg said, absolutely go before the point of pain when you're doing it. The last three stretches are for your lower back. This is a really common area where that people experience acute pain in. And so it's very critical that you go as deep as your body wants you to go with these stretches. And it may be in the first 24 hours that you can't even do even the simplest of them. And that's okay. If your body's not wanting you to do it yet, then wait until it's comfortable enough to do it. And so the first one is laying on your back. If you can't do this comfortably, then bend your knees. That's fine too. And you're gonna bring, bend one leg in and hug it into your chest as deep as you can go, three or four nice deep breaths in and out, and then you're going to switch legs. And again, typically one side is more irritated than the other, so just spend, do an extra two or three breaths on the affected side. And after you do each knee individually, you're gonna bring both your knees in and hug them in as far as you're comfortable going. The last stretch is bending both of your knees and putting your feet on the surface. And then you're going to, as much as you can, take your ankle and put it on top of the opposite knee. If you can thread your hands through and get underneath that leg and pull it in, that's fine. If you can't do that, that's fine too. Those are the stretches for each region of the spine. And we are happy to have you back again. And we'll see you next time.